Let's talk a little bit about this Arbiter object. So I'm here in the PyMonk API reference. And I'll open up this Arbiter. And as you see, the Arbiter object encapsulates a pair of colliding shapes and all of the data about their collision. They are created when a collision starts and persists persists until those shapes are no longer colliding. And of course, as uh, with the collision handler note, you should never need to create an instance of this class directly. So, go back to PyCharm and this is the code uh, from the previous video. We have this collision callback functions. And as you see, the, the first argument for these functions are these arbiters, arbiter objects. So let's take a look. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to remove this print statement from the pre-solver and from the post solver as well I'll replace it with pass and also from the separate and replace it with just pass so these three callback functions will do nothing for now and here in the collision begin i'm going to replace this with the arbiter objects object so i'm going to print out how this arbiter uh, looks like. Okay, so as you see, we have an arbiter object, and let me see. This arbiter ob object has these uh, these fields: contact points, at friction, and what interest me is these shapes so arbiter dot shapes and this should print out the two shapes with colliding shapes uh, okay as you see it printed out the circle shape and also the segment shape And let's say if the circle touches the second shape and I want to remove the circle from the space. So, so, so I'm just going to add IDs for these shapes. So I'm going to create a segment segment shape that one that id equals one and this is a segment shape two segment shape two that, that uh, id equals two and this is very nice in python that you can create uh, member variables for these objects this way so let's say that I'm going to I'm going to save the circle object and it will be equal to the arbiter the shapes index zero. So as you see the circle is the first index or the zeroth index the first value in this tuple and uh, I'm going to ask if arbiter um, dot shapes one that id equals equals uh, Two. So this is the ID 
I created uh, here and here for the line two line segment. So when the arbiter the shapes at index one its ID is 2, then I'm going to remove the circle from the space. So space that remove uh, the circle, circle that body, and also the circle. This is the circle's body and this is the circle's shape. So let's test it. Okay, and as you see, when when the circle or the ball hits the second line segment, it gets removed from the space from the simulation. And this can be very useful if you, let's say, creating a. Uh, uh, cannon or some firing system so when the bullet hits the enemy or, or a wall or something um, something like this then of course you want to get uh, the bullet removed from the space so let's go back and as you see it has also this surface velocity, uh, total impulse and total key, key E. So I suggest you to go to the documentation and read through it.